Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Laws video today to talk about the brand new Gala Dragalia banner that came out and the two new units that are coming with it. Before we start, I should mention this now, there apparently is a crazy, crazy, crazy windstorm currently blowing. <laughs> so if I get distracted or I go, whoa, it's because literally there's stuff like banging the doors around where I currently record and there's nowhere else I can record. Um, so hopefully it's not too distracting for you. But just to tell you up front, that's what I'm dealing with. That's- I was working today and I just got off work, so... This is the card- this is the card I was dealt? No, this is the hand I was dealt. Let's get into it, huh? So today's unit we're going to be talking about Gala Reborn Jean. Uh, or Jean, depending on if you're French or not. And... Good luck pronouncing this name, Raya Zadaro. I'm gonna call her Rai. Uh, the brand new unit that's coming with the event, and also she is a Light Lance, so add her to the ever-growing list of constant Light Lance Lee units being released. So here we have, we have Reborn Jean. I shall cut through the doubt for the sake of a better future. The Dragon Maiden who, ga who guides all, now freed from miasma corruption, shines with newfound luster. Inspired by the youth's hope for a radiant future, she hosts the standard of battle to offer steadfast support to her warriors all right sounds nice holy crusade it deals damage to enemies directly ahead and increases the user's max hp if the user is target targeting an enemy and not using a skill wait deals damage to enemies directly ahead and increases the user's max hp if the user is targeting an enemy and not using a skill when the remaining shapeshift time runs out oh okay i see what's happening uh, the skill will be used automatically regardless of whether or not the skill gauge is filled. Light Strength 70%. If the user is attuned to Light, increase Strength by 70%. Light Ofa the Righteous 2. If the user is attuned to Light, adds 30% to the modifier applied to damage against Shadow Attuned enemies and enemies with no attunement for 45 seconds every time. The Dragon Gauge fills by 10%. This increase will not stack, and after activating, this ability will not activate again for 5 seconds. Um, let me just make sure of something. When the remaining shapeshift time runs out, okay, I get it now. Um, so she seems. So here's my. This is a Gala Reborn. She follows the exact same format. I think the only difference here is that she adds, she adds something that the others did not. Nothing I can see here though. She seems like almost the exact same type of unit to me. Um, someone I remember reading somewhere someone saying that this gene is different in some way, but I can't for the life of me know or find it, so just know that. But either way, all these reborn Dragalia units are basically carbon copies of each other. This gene apparently does one thing slightly different that is harkens back to what she did previously. Uh, that doesn't change the fact that I think Gala reborns are lame. And <laughs> it doesn't matter how amazing they've made Jean look amazing. There's no denying how great she looks in this design. It just is a real damn shame that for whatever reason they decided that all Gala Reborn units should be basically the same. Like for example, Light still does not have a skill dragon. Does not have a skill dragon. It has two Gala dragons. No skill dragon, and the game is over two years old. <laughs> Dekakoden, the, the 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 light dragon that was released for New Year's a year back, is still probably the top light unit, even with this unit released. Uh, I could be wrong on this, obviously, because I'm not the greatest. So who knows? Maybe I'm not seeing something. But to be fair, when Gala Poseidon and Gala and Gala when the Wind Bird were released. They didn't really change a lot of what was already previously going on. Um, except for, I think, the Windbird, because the Windbird ended up being still really strong. Because there's not a lot of amazing Wind Dragons, the more I think about it. Um, so here's the basic thing. Jean, you look great. Not really digging a lot about what she does. I do kind of like the skill with the... Uh, increasing the max HP if it's directly used uh, if it's directly used on an enemy um, and it's if they're targeting an enemy and it's not using a skill 
Oh no, I see what's going on. I got confused for some reason. This is what happens when you start looking at unit information right after you're done with work and there's wind in the back distracting you. My basic thing remains the same though, is that gallery born units are an added space surface lame and I wish they would actually buff them to be all different. But that's just me. If you feel different, of course, feel free. I, I would love to have her for sure. I mean, look at her. How can you deny this? Um, but, you know, I've never felt too strongly. I have Daikakoden, and I don't need to really worry about getting another. I have Daikakoden and Thor. I have a serious doubt that Jean will replace either of them. And if I'm wrong, then that's going to be really funny to look back at this. Because I'll just be so hilariously wrong. That's enough on Jean. That's too much time spent on a unit that is basically 90% of the previous two units. So let's move on to Rai here. One of the apostles of the Northern Alien Church, her muscular form belies a timid heart. She shies away from conflict, but often ends up reluctantly decimating her foes. She admires the bright-eyed optimism of Raphael, the dragon she formed a sigil with. A sigil? A sigil, yeah. Uh, Clemens' punishment deals damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts flash burn. Uh, Lentis Oracle restores HP to the user and grants them the Raphael's Embrace effect. Recover potency 90%, skill energy required is 9360, special effects. Raphael's Embrace lasts 30 seconds, critical rate increased by 15%, knockback immunity does not stack. <laughs> it's going crazy. Co-op ability, HP 15%, increase HP by 15%, benefits the whole team. Chain co-op ability, light HP recovery equals strength 8%. If the team member is attuned to light, increases their strength by 8% for 15 seconds when their HP is restored. After activating this ability, it will not activate again for 10 seconds, benefits the whole team. Uh, Raphael's Covenant 2 inflicts Lock Sigil debuff on the user the start of quest for... 300 seconds and grants the user a unique force strike that cannot deal damage but activates the Raphael Steel effect for 20 seconds. During Raphael's Steel, the user's strength is increased by 15% and their attack rate is increased by 10%. Raphael's Steel will not stack. Locked Vigil sig Sigil. Remaining time will be reduced by 30 seconds when the user's HP is restored and it will be reduced by an additional 15 seconds when their HP is restored by 1000 or more. After activating this effect, it will not activate again for 20 seconds. When the lock sigil effect wears off, the user will be granted the sigil released effect instead. During sigil release, continuously tapping the screen at the end of the standard attack combo will charge the final attack up to three stages with damage reaching its maximum potential at stage three at stage three this attack will also be granted the ability to dispel one enemy buff and that's all one big ass ability curse resistance 100 percent reduces susceptibility to curses by 100 percent and raphael's protection to grants all team members other than this user a life shield equal to 30 percent of the user's maximum hp when the user takes damage during sigil release after activating this effect uh, this ability will not activate again for 60 seconds. Um, so how does she, how is she looking? It's very interesting how she's kind of been built. She's a defense unit, so it's like, I don't know how to accurately gauge her. I feel like a lot of, mm, mm, yeah, I just kind of don't know at this one. She seems like she'd be perfectly fine, but at the same time... I'm not 100% sure. I'm just not 100% sure on her. I do like this chain co-op ability though. I think that's really cool. The, the main thing that's giving me pause is this, is that the previous units who's, have the, who's had this effect have been a little bit too weak at the beginning. Like they're super strong once you can actually unlock them, but it takes a really long time. I wanna say the... The water girl who was released at the same time i can't remember her name um other than she kind of looks like one of the valkyries from fate grand order um her skill ended up being more useful than i think she is don't quote me on that one though because water is in a very weird place where it's mostly just karina and ways to buff karina but even having a very good skill a skill share move is more than some what some units have the good thing about this thing is that she can give flash burn, which is a brand new it's the brand new hotness, which is always nice to have. It just kinda all comes down to 
how useful is she when she doesn't need this? If she doesn't need this to be good, then there's nothing there. There's no real issue here. Then she's just very strong. Um, but if she needs to specifically have this unlocked and have this ability for her to start dealing some real damage, that's when things kind of get a little bit trickier. So I kind, of, I kind of wait and see on this one. My personal thing is that I'm not summoning on this banner because we're getting closer and closer to the 1.5 year anniversary. Um, and chances are they're going to drop something pretty good during that time. And I'm still recovering from the fucking blowback that was the Persona 5 uh, crossover that just completely drained me of every single resource I had. So I'm going to continue skipping. Uh, if you're summoning, I wish you good luck. I wish the boat. I would love to have uh, Rai over here. She looks great. I love her design. Um, I just love her design. She looks very good. I like all of it. Um, and of course, Jean also looks fantastic as well. If this was a pure design thing, I would say both of them have top tier designs. But you know, it is what it is. In a certain case, if you're summoning, good luck. I'm not summoning. And yeah, that's basically it. Tell me how you feel. I forgot to ask this at the beginning, but <laughs> if you ended up, if you made it this far, now you can totally tell me. You can leave a like if you ended up liking this video. You can comment, tell me about how you feel about any of the things discussed in this video. And you subscribe to me if you want some more. But of course, if you made it this far, chances are already are subscribed to me. So don't worry about that part. But yeah, you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next adventure. And I sure as hell hope the wind does not continue like this. Take us out, wind. The wind is just fucking strong, man. <laughs>